Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, I want to do a little bit of an impromptu training for you guys. Uh, over the previous weeks, you guys, you guys might have seen content we've been posting around the eight week cash flow class, which is basically where we were working with a, a handful of people and helping them formulate their offers, their ideas, and, and like launch a, a product of their own. And it's been really cool to watch, right? It's been seeing results in real time. We've been working with a, a few people, I think six or seven people. We've had multiple students already start making sales and we just got reports back from one of our clients yesterday that's been in the eight week cash flow class uh, that they're celebrating a 15K week, right? So I kind of want to break down what's what's went into that process so that way you guys can maybe take some takeaways from it. You guys can uh, go deploy this in your own business and potentially if you want to, you can have a chat with us about potentially helping us do this with you. But obviously that would be completely optional. And I primarily want to do this training because I feel like we're kind of in a, an era of like digital products, launching your courses, uh, PLR and all that stuff is really popular, but a lot of people tend to extremely overcomplicate what goes into potentially launching a product, making sales, having a repeatable process that they could use over and over and over again to virtually create sales out of thin air. So I'll go ahead and pull up my remarkable and uh, we'll kind of draw. I can't really draw, but you know, we're, we're going to attempt to draw and <laughs> show you guys uh, what has went into this actual process, taking an idea and an offer they had, uh, we helped them write the offer and, uh, you know, going from start to finish, what actually started making sales. So here we are, blank canvas, okay? So we... Especially when we're we're planning on running a promo, we're, we're doing a product launch, we gotta, gotta kinda get clear on the offer that we're selling. And not to confuse like your offer and your brand being the exact same thing. This is a big misconception with a lot of people who are like newer in online business is, you know, they'll go put their product name and their, their bios and, and like their social media handles are their products. And they're kind of two separate entities. But in this case, if we're running a, a promo, we're launching an offer, then we not really need to get clear on the actual offer itself. Uh, and we have used Google Docs to close 99% of our sales. Like we literally just crossed a million dollars with one offer that has been primarily closed with PDF, right? With a Google document that we wrote and put words onto a Google Doc uh, that made a bunch of sales. So we got to get clear on the actual offer you're going to potentially be selling and something that you could confidently deliver to the potential customers. So your offer, like I'll, I'll do this as the offer, okay? So, so we got your offer. Okay, so we gotta get clear. It's a little small, huh? That's what she said. Um, <laughs> uh, who, it helps. Okay. Who it's for. Who it isn't for. I think this is a this is another really important one too. Uh, who it isn't for is just as important as who it is for because you don't want crappy people buying your products. You don't want crappy people buying your offers, especially if it's like a coaching offer. Or you have any like of access to you, right? Um, it isn't for. Make this bigger. Okay, we got offer. Okay, the outcome. For the consumer, for the person that purchases the product, right? Where will they be? After. Okay, this is a big part of it. This is a very big piece that a lot of people either miss or they only talk about this. Okay, you'll you'll see a lot of internet marketers, all they do is hammer results or like, hey, I made, you know, I went from being a nanny to making a million dollars with 60 second videos, right? Like they're just leaning on this fact. Uh, but we need to get clear on this. This is gonna make your content easier. This is gonna make your your actual promotion easier. This is gonna make launching your product easier if we're crystal clear on all of these different things, right? Who it helps, who it's for, uh, who it isn't for, okay? The plan. Slash what somebody's gonna be doing. The 
Okay, like th this is another part, like we have to, the, the better job that you can do at specifying what somebody's gonna have to do when they jump into your offer, the easier and easier your sales are gonna be, right? Like so many people completely neglect this part. Like, hey, you can make all this money, but like they have no idea what they're gonna be doing. Am I gonna have to post content? Am I gonna have to show my face? Am I gonna have to do this? Like, what is the plan? Better yet, can your plan or process help them eliminate something that they hate from their business. Okay, this is how we launched an, an, a very successful offer of our own was, hey, we wanna show you a, a, a unique mechanism to remove the, the need to do cold outreach, to do sales calls, to do all this different stuff, right? We're taking a pain in the market and we're solving it with an offer. And then next would be the proof. And then specifically in a promo would be reasons to act now. Okay, and you can kind of utilize this skeleton for, for any offer that you're you're planning on, on putting out. If you guys want a template or a resource that you guys could use to potentially start conceptualizing your offers, uh, drop a hashtag template in the, in the comments and I'll, I'll drop you over an exercise that we give to all of our clients. Uh, that way you guys can potentially just do it in real time instead of having to try to read my chicken scratch. But, and then we will, package this onto a Google Doc, okay? And we're doing this first. We want ideally we want to do this before this ideally we want to do this as step number 1. Because this makes everything else easier. This is going to make the content easier. This is going to make promoting your product easier. This is going to make promoting the offer easier because we're really clear on on the the moving parts of the thing. And to be clear, this doesn't mean you need to go record 700 videos and, and go create your course or go create your product. We actually like to pre-sell all of our offers. So everything we've done in business will get an idea of, of like these right here, right? The, the outcome, the plan, what we're going to be showing people, what we're going to do with people. And then we will create an offer for it. And then we will go promote it in our content. And then once we're selling spots or a lot of the times we'll do live events. So like, like for example, we did a $76,000 a month. We made hundreds of sales where we didn't, we didn't create anything. We ran a promo, sold all these spots and then ran a five day live event, delivering all of the trainings and the outcome for the people. And then we turned around and, and turned that into an evergreen product that we could sell over and over and over and over again. All right, so that's how you get paid to create digital products, assets of your own. So once we're clear on the offer, we're going to start moving on to the next bucket of stuff that we need to do. Okay, and that is the content. Okay, the promotion. Without creating attention and awareness to the thing that you just did, you're not going to sell anything. Now, we like to do this in a couple different ways. One, we like to do something... Uh, called a cash cash mullet kickoff, which is technically like a free training. So free training. Some people would perceive this as like a webinar or, or something like that. But what we really like to do is we like to uh, utilize the free training to rope in as much attention or awareness as we potentially can. And we, obviously we need it adjacent to the offer that we just created, right? It can't be uh, a polarizing concept, right? I can't go run a free training on how to fill your calendar with sales calls and then try to sell them an offer that shows them how to remove sales calls. Like this just doesn't make sense, right? So another benefit of doing your offer first is we can kind of work backwards from the offer and utilize that in our free training. Okay, use the free training to get them ready or offer. Right, th this is a big part too. Like if if you can utilize your free training to get somebody ready or even to the point of needing the offer that you have, it makes selling off the tail end of the free training relatively easy. Right? If we say say for example we're running a masterclass on uh, growing your TikTok by a, a thousand people, as an example. Yes, you can do masterclasses or offers on tiny little things that you're doing in business. I think that's a big misbelief that, oh, hey, I'm not qualified enough to do this. I'm not qualified enough to launch an offer, do anything like that. 
Uh, whereas realistically, if, if you are doing something in business, you are doing more than somebody who isn't. And I know that sounds so cliche, but it's a reality of it. Um, but if I was running a masterclass on growing and monetizing a TikTok channel, what I could do for the free training would be like, you know, setting up socials, optimizing their TikTok, right? Optimizing. Set up. Creating their first piece of content. First piece. Post, okay, as an example, their first post, okay? And then I'm going to invite them like, hey, I just showed you this really cool stuff. We got your TikTok profile set up. We got your, we got your, your bio optimized. We got your first post done, but this is the next problem that you're gonna run into. Right, and we're not. I'm not saying to leave anything else. I'm not trying try to say leave things out intentionally in your in your audience or your trainings or the things that you're doing for people. But when you solve a problem in business, life, etc., there is going to be a natural next problem that gets created. So then we use that next problem to feel interest around the offer that you just created. It can't be more of the same, right? Like if you want to move people from your, your free content to your, your offer, it can't be just more of the same, right? Like I can't, I can't give you all of the, the frameworks and all the processes to, you know, start an Amazon influencer business and then turn around and be like, Hey, I have this program that's going to help you start an Amazon influencer business. Okay. Like it's, it, it doesn't work. It's not compelling because the natural immediate reaction from your audience is going to be like, why do I need that? You just gave me that. So we have to look from a little bit of a, a 10,000 foot above perspective around what is the next problem that they're gonna have and that's the angle that I need to use to get them to move to the offer. So the reason that we really like to kick off all of our promos or product launches with a free training is it's a very easy ask for our audience. Okay, it's a very easy ask to get people to a free training, to get people to come hang out with you and then join you on a free thing and if, if somebody comes and hangs out with you and spends time with you, they're going to get to know you as a person. They're going to get to know you as a business owner. They're going to get to kind of see how you do things, how you help people a little bit more, learn about more, more about your process. And, and you're going to be building relationships at scale with these people. Um, and, and the, the sales on the back end of these trainings are going to be relatively low pressure, easier, less resistance, like, this is a this I will attribute this to a, a big reason why we've closed so many sales without sales calls because we always usually kick off offer launches with some type of free high value training with the goal of helping them win from the free thing with a casual invite, right? So the content is obviously going to be used to push the free training. Free training, okay? Thing. And and obviously you can cycle this back to right you can utilize these same topics that are in the offer who it's helps what who it's for who it isn't for the outcome the plan the process what you're going to be helping people do on this free thing okay you can emulate a very similar content strategy so then you're utilizing your content to send people to this high value free training that you plan you promote you're, you're basically promoting this free valuable thing for your audience Okay. And then you're taking people from the free train and you're moving them down into a conversation. Okay. Then we're talking to them. Hey, I appreciate you hanging out with me on the free training. I hope you got some value from that today. If you have any questions around deploying this into your business, give me a shout. Hey, thanks for hanging out with hang, thanks for hanging out with me on the free training today. I noticed that you dropped a comment around wanting to learn more about working with me. Would you be offended if I sent you an offer? So you see what we're doing here? We're sending we're just going to send them this Google Doc that we just created. So I'm utilizing my content to push them through the high value free training. On the free training, I'm delivering the value, I'm delivering the goods, and throughout the training I'm saying, "Hey, I am planning this really cool cool thing." You guys want to learn about that shoot me a message no obviously no pressure either way i'll do this right now hey if you guys want to learn around creating an offer 
having us write you a content plan and you personally want us to show you how we're closing thousands and thousands of sales in the DMs, either drop a comment on this video with hashtag August or send me a message and I'll hook you up with an invite because we are doing this. That's an example. I'm giving you a free training and I just, I just pitched you on an offer. I, I just dropped an invite to an offer. Okay. So that's what we're doing. Okay. Um, drawing to copy. Okay. So next, um, next, um, Okay, so now now that we got okay, so we got the we got the free training conversation. Okay. So the cool part, so scroll down a bit for you guys. Um so I scrolled down a bit for you guys. Okay, now that we got um you're utilizing the content. Oh, I I've been recording that entire time. I didn't even pause the video. Awesome. I'm gonna have to edit that out. Um so Scroll down a bit for you guys. Uh, so now that we have your, your profit PDF, okay? We've, we've created your offer. Okay. We hit the content. Use content. To feel a training. Okay, well then we start utilizing content to feel uh, a training that's adjacent to the offer. Use the use your content to generate interest, generate lead flow that would get them ready or uh, understand what you're going to potentially be doing in your actual offer. Okay, so then we'll take this and we'll go up here. Okay, after you run the training, you start talking. Two people in DMs, right? Start sending messages to the people that either interacted on the content, that raised their hand on the content, that uh, started saying, hey, I want to hang out with you on this free thing. When is it? Hey, I want help doing X, Y, Z. Best case scenario, everybody that comes and hangs out with you on this free training, send them a message, right? Start working them not, not working them in like an unethical way, but like <clears throat> start planting seeds and building a relationship around optimizing to get them to talk about this offer. Okay. And then we <clears throat> use the content. And then after this, best case scenario, you make a sale. Okay. And then this, this turns into, you know, a sale. Turn that into a sale. And then what we do is we can then turn around and it utilized that process to feel more content. Okay, which then refeeds people back into the training, back into your DMs, and back into more sales. Okay, now this is the process that a, a student just used to celebrate a 15K week. Now, the cool part beyond this is the fact that they've created a framework and a process that they can use on repeat every month, every quarter, every six months, every year to start creating sales out of thin air virtually right we can literally use the same content right we can rerun run the free training okay and then we can send the same offer And this is how you create frameworks. This is how you create processes. This is how you cr create your own unique ways of doing things, right? This person just took an idea and did a 15K week from an offer that we helped them write, okay? An idea, right? And, and that's just on the front. That's not including any other ascension. That's not including any other times that they want to use this or they want to rerun it or anything like that.
So my little ugly drawing for y'all, right? Utilize your content to feel your free thing, your free tactics, your free strategies. You can emulate this with like a group, a YouTube channel, YouTube video, a lead magnet. Like this is what people are doing on a bit of a deeper level. Uh, talk to people, send them your, your Google doc, your offer document, your offer, your affiliate link, make sales and utilize that to refeed, right? Hey, I just did this, which turned into a sale. And then that becomes a piece of content. Then you loop them back into a free thing. You talk to people, you make sales, and it just goes in circles. A good kind of circle though, right? Like you're having fun, you're enjoying your process, you're enjoying your business. It's not complex or complicated. You're making money, you're helping people, and it's, it's overall kind of a, a kick-ass thing that we do. We've been doing this for years. And again, shameless plug, if you want to have a chat about potentially helping, having us help you deploy our unique system into your own business, give us a shout. Uh, or if you want to learn more about what we do as a whole, we are hosting a free training on Monday. All you got to do is join our free community. And uh, that's all I got for you today. Just kind of wanted to break down everything that has went into helping a client launch an offer, right? We we help them formulate an idea, look at gaps in their their audience, gaps in their market. We help them write a, a, a Google Doc with uh, a PDF, right? Utilizing, showcasing what they've done, who it helps, who it's for, the outcome for the customer and everything like that. Then we started utilizing content to push people to a free high value training that they were hosting. And then they simply followed up with people that joined them on the free training and sent them the Google Doc and started making sales. And then you turn around and use that in your content. And then refeeding people back through the free training and then talking to those people. And then it just, this flywheel effect of doing something in business, making sales, and then talking about it in your content. And that's all I got for you guys today. You guys have a kick-ass Wednesday and I will see you guys in the next video.